Come on, something's playing with me. Oh man, savage freaking hit. That was savage, dude. That's a good fluke, baby. Oh, I'm gonna totally jack this up. I'm gonna totally jack this up. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I am an idiot, dude. All right, back out here. Slightly sporty today, a little windy, a little choppy. So I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna be using this flutter spoon today. Heads up. Oh my God, I'm gonna get soaked out here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be using this flutter spoon today. I'm gonna troll it and if I start marking stripers, I'm gonna drop it down and jig it. This has been working really well for big bass. And I'll see how long I'll make it out here. And then after that, I'm definitely gonna do some bottom fishing, hoping to get some fluke, maybe some sea bass and kind of just change it up. I've been in a striper fever lately, man. That's all I've wanted to catch. But you know, based on the conditions today and stuff, I think I'm gonna change it up at some point. But for now, we'll continue with our regular scheduled programming of catching big striped bass. So let's get to it. Heads up. Where is that big school? I lost it getting blown around out here. Can't really hold the spot well. Ah, good enough marks. Drop it down. Big school under me, come on, hit the spoon. All right, changing tactics. Sick of getting splashed by waves. I'm gonna turn around in and go for fluke. It's always a little more nerve wracking when you got the waves breaking at your back, but I'll be all right. Big water can handle it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yep, this is a bad idea coming out here. I'm literally surfing right now. A little more sheltered now with some decent marks. So I'm gonna try another attempt for jigging up some stripers. Oh man, yeah, just the further out you go, the sketchier it got. And you know, taking them head on is fine, but when you get the waves and the wind pushing you from behind, it's just uncomfortable. It's an un uneasy feeling. You feel like you don't have full control of your kayak, so I think I'm doing the right thing right now by Sticking shallow. Oh, all right. I'm back pretty close to shore. A nice sandy area, so I'm gonna do a couple drifts, a little high-low rig, with about, I think this is a half ounce bucktail, and a little teaser. And I'm just gonna throw some gulp on each one. If you don't know what gulp is, it's basically soft plastics, like soaking in fish juice. And it's really smelly and fluke love it. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Just be careful not to spill the juice in your car because it will make it stink for a long time. May or may not have had that happen to me. All right, I got my setup. Drop it down and do a little jigging. That was a hit. Come on. There we go. That's a fluke. That's a fluke. Of course I don't have a net. I never have a net. It's just like default to not have a net. Yeah, it's a fluke, dude. That's a that's an okay one. I'm gonna have to flip him in. No, nah, it's a little one. Yeah! There he is! Hey! Not bad. A little fluke. It's 18 inches to keep this here in Rhode Island. I don't think he's quite that, but these are a cool fish, man. Whoa, hard to handle. All right, let's see if we can get some more. He hit the teaser. I find with these high-low rigs, a lot of times they will hit the teaser over the bucktail, but if you get one on the bucktail, 
typically be a bigger fluke. But they're chewing down there, so go back to that same drift. I was in about 30 feet of water. There we go. There's something. Something small. Oh, another fluke. Little guy. Shocked he hasn't popped off the hook yet. Almost brought him to the surface. Here we go. Another little guy. Little fluky. These are some good eating fish, man. If you want to eat some fish, these are the ones. I really want to like get better at fluke fishing this season. They're a really cool fish. This is like tiny. They get much, much bigger than this. Goodbye, my friend. Oh. There he goes. Oh, there's a hit. Come on. Come on, there's something here playing with me. Come on. Oh. Might be something small. Mmm, how is he not there? Oh, here we go. Oh, I just missed a good hit. Ah, wake up, Johnny. Come on. Just goofing off on my cell phone. There we go. I got him again. Oh, I think he just... No, he's still there. I don't know. This is a weird fight. Yeah, another fluke, man. Definitely a small fluke. So far, I've been good about landing all these without a net. Basically, I just grab the leader and give him a little... hi -ya! Another little guy. They're all hitting the teaser and uh, they're all getting hooked pretty good. I'm shocked. I've landed every single one so far without a net. I'm having trouble getting this freaking hook out. There we go. Another little guy. Whoop. There we go. Oh boy, this feels all right again. This feels okay again. What do we got? Another fluke, man. That's probably another keeper. Wish I had my tape, because that one's kind of on the, on the dot. Oh boy, I'm gonna jack this up so bad. He hit the bucktail, too. Oh, great, so I have no leader to grab him. Oh, going for the line. Ah, there he goes. Figured that would happen at some point. Bring a net, folks, when you're fluke fishing. Oh, come on, something's playing with me. Oh man, savage freaking hit. That was savage, dude. All right, I don't know what this is. It feels a little fluky, but yeah, I think this is a decent fluke. Yeah, that's a good one. That might keep, man. Oh man, this is when I really need a net. That's a good fluke, baby. Oh, I'm gonna totally jack this up. I'm gonna totally jack this up. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, I am an idiot, dude. Why did I not bring that? That's a good fluke. Uh, huh, yes! Yes! Oh man, that might be one of the biggest fluke I've ever caught. Holy crap, baby. I'm not much of a fluke fisherman, so this is a good fluke for me, dude. Oh man. That's a bruiser of a fluke. I don't have my measuring tape, but dang, that's a good fluke. Oh man, I can't believe I landed him without a net. Holy mackerel, dude. I'm in shock right now. Whew. That's gotta be pushing 20 something inches. Oh man, that is a good freaking fluke. Oh man, look at this thing, dude. That's... A good fluke for me. I'm not much of a fluke fisherman, so that is a big fluke for me, man. Oh, so awesome. I want to keep him, but at the same time, I, I want to let him go just because he's a good sized fluke. Whew. Yeah, I'll get some good shots of him. Whew, that's a good fluke. I'm going to let him go. A gift to the fish gods. There he goes. Didn't get a measurement on them, but you guys tell me what you think. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for me. I gotta go get ready to do some night fishing. 
Uh, thank you for watching. This was a good uh, plan B outing to get some flute because the stripers weren't playing ball. But hopefully I get some cows tonight and get that on video. So till next time.